We are going to review the editing tools in PictoChart. The editing tools for text, images, shapes, lines, or icons can be found when selecting them. They are located at the top. Looking at the editing tools for the text, there is a lock feature. Once selected, there will be a red border saying that it is locked. You will not be able to move it unless you unlock it again by clicking this icon. You can change the color of the text by selecting color and choosing the color you want. You can also change the opacity of the text and this will allow you to change the transparency. With any text, there's a font family that you may change the text type. You can change the font size. You can make it bold, italic, or even an underlined text. You may also change the alignment to center, right, or justify. You may even want to make it an ordered list. In line setting, you can change the letter spacing by moving the icon over to the right and you'll see that each letter will be spaced. You can also change the line height. If you have a link that you want to put, you can set a hyperlink to object. You can also arrange the text to bring to the front, send to the back, bring forward or send backward. There is also an alignment tool that you can shift the text wherever you want. You can freely move the text by selecting it and moving it with your mouse. If you want to move it specifically horizontally, you should hold shift, then click, and you will be able to move it straight up and down. You can also change the size of the text um, box by clicking the circle here and moving your mouse. You may also rotate the text by clicking on the rotate icon and fr freely moving it. If you want to change the degree more specifically, you can hold shift and moving it at specific degrees. When selecting an image or a shape, you'll see that they have fewer tools than the text. It's the same. We have lock, we have opacity, we have the link, we can arrange, we can align, but the only new items here would be flip left to right and flip top and bottom. Perhaps you want to change the line type that's in this template. Right now, this is a dotted. So if you select the dotted line, you can go to the editing tool at the top and change the line style to solid. You can change it to dashed. So I'm going to keep it at solid. The new item for solid is that you can actually change the line width. So perhaps you want to make it thicker so you can adjust it right here. When you right click, you can also find other editing tools. So for example, for child's name, I'm going to right click. You can undo, redo, lock, select all, cut or copy this item that you've selected. You may add a link or you may delete. But if you were to select the image and the child's name together by holding shift, you can group these two items together, the image and the text. So I'm going to select group. So once it's grouped, it basically allows you to move both selections at the same time since they are together. To edit the group, you simply have to double click in the group and you'll see that you can actually identify the text and the image by itself.